Welcome to part 4 of our video series detailing beautiful places to visit in Elite Dangerous. In this video we'll be looking at some of Commander Rini's favourite places to visit that are between 1000 and 2000 light years from Sol. If you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Here we go then at 1100 light years from Sol an idyllic destination for the new explorer looking to stretch their legs for the first time BD 121172 the Spirograph Nebula. The system contains multiple landable worlds and a huge bright O class blue white star. Two of the landables are ringed and the system is peppered with geologic and biologic points of interest. There are also three notable stellar phenomena spots in the system to visit and all of this is surrounded by the small spirograph planetary nebula itself. Next up CD261339 the beautiful Robin's Egg Nebula so called because its shape and colour is vaguely reminiscent of a blue robin's egg. The system is 1145 light years from Sol and contains no less than 14 stellar objects ranging from an O class at the centre which is a binary pair with a black hole to numerous N class stars and brown dwarves. The whole collection surrounded by an eerie blue and purple cloud. At 1249 light years from Sol you'll find HIP 38064. The whole system here is awash with sights and you might be tempted to stop at the two ringed worlds that are so close to the O star at the centre of the system that you'll be fuel scooping as you fly past them but we'd urge you to venture deeper into the system. Body 10 for example is a ringed M class star, one of three ringed stars in the system. It has a close orbiting rocky landable that features silicate geysers on the surface. You could easily spend a happy few days in this system taking in the sights that extend outwards from the purple hue of the central star. Next up is HR6164 referred to by pilots as The View, another O class entry star at the centre this time orbited by a black hole and a neutron star. The latter is home to a large tourist installation which hovers just outside one of the furious little stars polar jet cones. The installation affords some spectacular views of this violent stellar phenomena. There's some strong gravity fields throughout the system and should you choose to land at one of the systems planets be sure to be aware of that before you start your descent. 1538 light years from Sol you'll find the star dense system of HD 78344. A system with no less than 9 stellar objects head to the 7th body in the system and you'll find that rarest of beasts a ringed neutron star. The rest of the system is peppered with landable worlds and has plenty to explore but it's the ringed neutron that is easily the systems biggest showstopper. And finally at 1597 light years from Sol HD 19557 with a huge carbon star at its centre accounting for most of the systems mass with the three gas giants in the system making up the majority of the rest of it there isn't much else to see but the view that you get from the closest landable moon of the first gas giant in the system is pretty hard to beat and more than makes the journey worth it. That's it for this series of beautiful places. If you've missed the other videos they're linked on screen now. We hope we've inspired you to head out into the black and take in some of these sites for yourself. What are your favourite places in the galaxy of Elite Dangerous? Did we already mention yours or is there somewhere else that you'd like to highlight? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.